Johan! Johan! Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a cold and drizzly Sunday training run and to the last key workout of this half marathon training block leading up to the Reading half marathon which is now in one week's time. Quick outline of today's session is to aim for three two and a half K reps with 500 meters of float in between and those reps will be at or just below half marathon pace but I'm going to listen to my body today if after a rep one or two it's not feeling great I'm still sort of coming back from being a little bit unwell then I will drop it and just complete the run at an easy pace you know one week out there's nothing now to be gained in terms of fitness but you could lose an awful lot by overtraining or not recovering properly so I've got to be sensible and smart okay warm-up is nearly complete after sort of the next kilometer or so I'll begin the first rep and I'll check in with you along the way we'll see how we get on right, back in a bit okay it's the end of this first rep and it's done hit the lap button Whew. all right okay that wasn't too bad that was whoa it is slippy whoa Oh, I've decided to come down here in these shoes. That was a bad idea. Ah, okay, that wasn't too bad. Probably about 4.16 for the first K, then about 4.10. Um, but as you can see, it's wet. Conditions aren't great. I definitely say I'm feeling around 75 to 80% of like 100% in terms of how I feel health wise so I'm all right holding that pace now I think for the next two reps if I can um, it's still going to be a good effort and you know that's that's just all I can really hope for at the moment um, obviously if it if the legs and the lungs open up a bit more that's great but I'm not going to stress about it too much um, at the moment anyway I'm going to get myself out of this mud that was a stupid idea and just have a 500 meter now easy sort of jog before beginning the second two and a half gate rep so i'll check in with you at the end of that one Good to get support. Right, last hundred of this rep. Okay. This is fours. That was a four fifteen, a four twelve, and then. The 500 so yeah we are a long way off the uh, target pace um, about 10 seconds 10 to 15 seconds per kilometer so but I haven't got any more I feel I can really give to it at the moment and the effort is there and I think that's that's just something I'm gonna have to be okay with um, I'm gonna do one more so I'll bring it up to seven and a half K and probably about somewhere between 10 to 12k for the run total which again 
is fine. So I'll finish that rep and then just, just sort of go through how I'm feeling about next weekend and what I think could be achieved on the day. All right, let's uh, get this last one done. Okay, final rep is complete. Much, much lower. <laughs> I was thinking like in the 1240s and the, tw uh, sorry, the four. 40s and the uh, 430s but never mind like I said towards the end it was more about the effort than the pace and one week out from a key race there isn't fitness to be gained but you know you could certainly mess it all up by pushing too hard um, when the body just isn't isn't up for it today so I think the key thing for me to sort of take away now and reflect on is, you know, I've had a strong training block. As with all training blocks, you know, there's ups and there's downs and times when everything's firing and times when it's not. I think the, the issue as humans is we tend to focus on all the times when, you know, it's not been firing well now for example rather than actually you know I've had some solid solid workouts in this block some good good progression um, you know plenty of runs at target half marathon pace uh, plenty of intervals plenty of long easy trail runs as well to build strength and endurance you know I'm pretty sure all the components are there it's just a question of it all coming together on the day and you know more often than not a lot of that is out of our control because we could have a bad week of sleep with a newborn in the house could have you know a bad meal the night before you know whatever all of these things can play a play a part in that so all i can do now is have a good week of recovery um sprinkle in a few efforts in the week just to keep the legs fresh and turning over try and get as much rest as possible try and eat as cleanly and as healthily as possible um, and just yeah try and minimize any kind of external factors that can work against me on the day the aim is still to run sub 125 but overall the aim is to enjoy the opportunity, embrace the experience, and just to have a good day. Coming up this week, I've got a slightly different video from a couple of weeks ago. Um, just a little running interview with a good friend and 248 marathoner, GB age group, Jew athlete, Dave Vogwell. So that'll be on the channel soon. And that is pretty much it. So I'll see you in that one, and I'll see you at the start line in Reading in a week's time. Take care for now.